Hey, all right, welcome back. We've got a lot to do, so I am walking and talking on this intro. Hopefully I don't trip and fall, but I don't have a lot of time and I need your help. Tomorrow is Steven's birthday and I've got one big surprise for Steven. And also I am cooking for him, his favorite meals. We have been doing a no, I was just making sure I had everything laid out for cheesecake. I've never made cheesecake before. So hopefully it goes well. <laughs> You know, they say, do not try new recipes for special occasions. Well, I'm breaking that rule today. Hopefully it doesn't backfire. Anywho, here's, here's the surprise, okay? Um, remember this? Remember that? Well, this is Steven's bathroom vanity. And it has been like that for, I don't know, when was that video posted? Put it right here, editing Shannon. Yeah, it's been a minute. <clears throat> well, with the help of his dad and mom, I got it fixed. I ordered a box, here's a flashback. I don't know when this was, cause I got this box probably a year ago to replace the drawer. And his dad is putting the guides and the face on right now. So, my plan for him is to clean and organize his things and then present him with his new drawer for his birthday. And technically it's no spend because we've been trying to do no spend. My birthday and Mother's Day, we tried to do very little spend. For his birthday and Father's Day, we're trying to do very little spend gifts. And so technically that's a no spend gift because like I paid for a year ago, so Yes, we found a loophole on that. Anyway, I I guess I did also buy organizing materials for this. Okay, so it's not technically no spend, but I spent the money a long time ago, so it doesn't count. And I thought it'd just be really nice to give him a clean and organized space and also clean this bathroom. So I need your help. I just need you to keep company with me today. I've got a lot of work to do. Let's pray I can do it at all. Okay, I'm really, really asking y'all not to judge here, okay? We all have a space that is our little dirty secret. This cabinet is going to be one of those for us. So before I clean the bathroom, I'm going to go ahead and clean out from under here. Get this cleaned out because a lot of this I'm going to be putting up here. And so I don't want to clean this and have to clean it twice. I know y'all get that. So first order of business, pull everything out, clean, wipe down, and all that. I did go ahead and grab a trash bag because we're gonna need it. <laughs> Both of our sinks really, really lack organization. And, you know, when I was thinking about, okay, what can I do for Steven that will cost little to no money? And this was the first thing that came to mind, getting that drawer fixed, which kind of dominoed into organizing this down, this under cabinet part. Uh, I'll probably go back and do a better job when I organize mine, get some better organization materials. It pays to clean. Hey, you know, every bit counts. I went ahead and put that into my organizational bin fund. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be throwing this one away. It's kind of falling apart and it's really really old like i want to say we got this shortly after we were married 15 years ago so <clears throat> who knows what's lurking in there So I've really been enjoying some cleaning content where the people don't have music to the background. It's just quiet in the background, but you hear the clink and clank of the cleaning and stuff. But I don't think my video has the same effect. Y'all will have to let me know because all I hear is my grunting and breathing. 
And there's just something about that that sort of ruins the ASMR vibe. You know what I mean? Okay, shifting gears to the topic of no spend gifts. Stephen and I are on a budget this year. We have a, way too many emergencies pop up. See the last video if you're wondering what. And we're just taking this time to show each other our love for one another with no spend items or very low spend items. And I am doing his birthday in this video, but we also have Father's Day coming up. And I feel like I have used up all my ideas. So let me know, do you have any good no spend Father's Day gift ideas? I can pin one comment. So if you have a good idea, comment below, let me know what it is. And if it's a good one, I'm gonna pin it for you guys. That way we can share with each other on what we're doing for men in our lives that we don't have to spend a whole lot of money for. It can be low spin too. Okay, here's a cleaning hack that I've picked up on when I have stu stuff stuck to the counters or shelves or whatever. And in this case, this is probably a soap of some sort. So if I add any kind of liquid to it, it's gonna foam up. So I'd rather clean it with a dry item. And as you can see, it just comes right up. And then right here, there's some sort of soap item here. So I have no idea where that came from, but we're gonna get that scooped up as well. Now I'm just gonna get a wet rag. I'm not even gonna spray soap in here, but just get a wet rag and just try and wipe that out. I don't wanna add any more cleaner or soap to the mix just yet. Look at me sharing a cleaning hack. Who would have thunk? All the little white pieces that you see is Epsom salt. He loves Epsom salt. And you know what? I didn't get him any for his birthday. I think we'll fudge on the no spin on that too. A little bit later and run up to Target and get him some. You don't have a number or I message address for Matt. Who do you want to message? Nobody. I won't send it. Thank you. Gotta love an eager Siri. She's always chomping at the bit to call people. <laughs> Just kidding. I think because my arms are kind of a uh, chubby that anytime I bend my wrist, it presses the button on the side that triggers her to uh, listen for commands. That literally took probably less than 10 minutes to fully clean out and wipe down, vacuum out and wipe down. Amazing how big a mess can be cleaned up so quickly. If I had a dollar for every time I said that in a cleaning video, just shocked at how quick something took when I actually sat down to do it, I'd be a rich, rich woman. Maybe there'll be one day in the future where I'll just get up and do a task and not look at the size of it or let it paralyze me or procrastinate on it and I'll just get up and do it like it's no big deal. A girl can dream, right? I've got some containers here as well as some of the containers that I took out to begin with. I got these at the Target dollar spot for $5 each. They probably do not have them anymore because this was probably six months ago when I originally planned to do this organization. But, and as I was cleaning out everything and just keeping like a mental inventory of everything that was in there, he definitely needs something like this to contain beard trimmers, shaving and all that stuff. Guards, all the different guards. So that's what we're gonna use this one for. Then, I have an extra one 
which I also intend to do my sink because it's getting out of control too. Um, I have this and I have this. So hopefully we have everything we need to make it look nice. A lot of it ended up being a lot of trash. So there really isn't much to organize. It just needs to have, sorry. It just needs to have some, some thought put into it and not just junked in here. Okay, let's get to organizing. I also want to take this and use this as like a little bath caddy that he can just pull out and take with him to the bathtub because our six year old still uses our bathroom. And being an impulsive little boy that he is, he likes to empty out soap bottles into the bathtub to make bubbles. So, so we actually try and keep our shampoo and stuff off the rim of the bathtub to take that temptation away from him. I'm gonna use this. This was actually in our camper and I thought we would use it as a shower caddy to take to like the public restrooms, but um, we never ended up really needing it. And I probably should have donated it a long time ago, but I am thankful now I have a good purpose for it. You know, it's not the organization that takes the time, it's cleaning, doing stuff like this. That really adds to the time. Let's see here. So we're gonna put his soaps in here. Beautiful fit, beautiful. I went to go put this in here. It seems the six year old has already gotten to it and filled it back up with water. It could be diluted soap, so we'll just leave it in there. I just have to say, I am so grateful you are here today. And by the way, you are looking fabulous. Did you do something different with your hair today? I like it. We need to get this boy some organization. This is simply a problem of not having a system in place for your thing. So we're gonna get him fixed up here. And I saw this from Frugal Fit Mom, who saw it from Clutterbug is a get ready bin. And I just think that would be perfect for him. I'm so glad I chose to do this for him. He really deserves a clean space to get ready, organized items, get some of this trash. You know, life can get crazy and you just run out of time to do it for yourself. Okay, I changed my mind on the get ready bin. I am gonna put this stuff back in here eventually. Um, but, First, I want to get a shelf liner in there for him to protect it from the toothpaste and whatever else gets in there. When the other drawer comes, I'll have a liner for that one too. So we're gonna put a pause on this. Okay, so I'm circling back to the no spin gift ideas just because I can't seem to focus on anything else. So I Googled it, what dads really want for Father's Day. And I'm going to read to you what the survey says. Number one. Bow chicka wow wow. That's not me. That's the survey. I promise. Number two is a special meal. Number three. Kind of tied with number four. Handwritten card or a night out with. You know, I guess it says dot dot dot. So maybe the wife or his friends. I don't know. All right, let's see what's next. A massage. Yep, Stephen likes the massages. Oh, a handmade sentimental item. Sporting equipment. New gadget. Clothing. Day trip outing. Hobby related gift. Um, da -da -da, time alone. Tickets to a live dot dot dot. I guess maybe sporting event or concert. Then it says alcohol related gift but we don't drink. So I just, I find it funny. Like the first, the top responses were basically no spend. So I don't know. There you have it. And I just so happened to find the shelf liner 
It's a Christmas miracle because I had no idea where this was and I just so happened to open the right cabinet. I knew this was going to be junked in somewhere and I was like, I wasn't even going to attempt to look for it. I knew I had it somewhere, but I knew it was going to be at the bottom of some sort of clutter pile. And I just so happened to open the right closet and look in the right corner to find it. It's a birthday miracle, not a Christmas miracle, a birthday miracle. I did intentionally go up on the sides a little bit just to protect the crack from taking on any toothpaste or beard trimmings. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but it's gonna work. It's gonna help this drawer hopefully last longer. I'm surprised this one didn't fall apart on me because I really went to town cleaning it. <sighs> Feels good to have that done. No, 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 back up here, back up here. Yes, of course we're gonna take care of that too. This part isn't gonna be an as in-depth clean as I would like. I'm kind of surprised that cleaning his bathroom cabinet wasn't ranked on the uh, top gift survey for Father's Day. But actually, no, it's no surprise. I'm terrible at giving gifts and I'm terrible at receiving gifts. I'm just, gifting is just at the very bottom of my love language. I tend to give very practical gifts, like things people need. Like, I'm just gonna be that grandma that gives you ketchup for Christmas because you like ketchup so much. In my mind, it's thoughtful and I know you're gonna use it. And I'll confess that I did end up buying something for Steven for his birthday because I'm such a good rule follower. And uh, yeah, it was a cell phone holder for his truck. He was thrilled thrilled and i'm equally bad at receiving gifts mainly because it just makes me uncomfortable because i have no idea what my face is going to say when i re open a gift and i hate that about myself i wish i could fake it i really do because my mouth says oh thank you so much but my face says this is probably going to end up in a future declutter video and yes i know that sounds terrible and like i said it's not a quality i like about myself it's even gotten to the point where receiving gifts that I don't know what it is makes me extremely uncomfortable and I would just prefer people not to do it at all because I do not want to hurt anybody's feelings unintentionally. Anyways, I think that's enough sharing about me. So Steven right now has the day off. This is a Saturday. And so I said, you go take the kids to the park, relax, let me work on a few projects here at the house and uh, get ready for your birthday. So he obliged and I don't think I shared what else we're doing. So I am going to be making him a special meal that was on the top of the Father's Day gift idea. So yay me. So we are going to be making chicken fried steak later today and also making a cheesecake later on. The cheesecake will be for his birthday meal at his mom's house, which is the next day. But the chicken fried steak will be this night. And that is my specialty. That is the meal he always asks for on special occasions. It's also the meal that my dad had started asking for on his birthday or Father's Day whenever we're together. So it's a good one. And I'm going to bring you along. I'm going to share with you my secrets. And we're just going to have some fun in the kitchen. Now the cheesecake, we learned today why we don't try new recipes for special occasions. That's all you're getting. No spoilers. You'll just have to stay tuned and hang out with me and watch it. Okay. On to this bathtub. Right now, I am scrubbing away at some calcium deposits that have formed around these faucet knobs. I'm going to give you a close-up here. You can kind of see, and if you scratch at them, it, it is just, it's not sticky. It's almost like rock hard. You can't get it off with regular soap or water. 
and you can't scratch at it like I don't know what it is I'm pretty sure it's calcium deposits but they're a booger to get off for the for the longest time we had that on our toilet bowl and I decided to go back to actual toilet bowl cleaner versus those scrub wands and y'all this took off the calcium deposits like effortlessly so we're gonna give this a go on these and see if we can't get those off I'm just gonna leave that for a few seconds oh my goodness that's crazy you can see it oh, I wiped it away but you could see it foaming up right over those things yeah, non-existent. And it required zero elbow grease. That's crazy. Look at that. Gone. 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 Ignore my sweaty face, but I hate to know what's in that stuff that it just eats away. It's stuck on crap. All right, I know you're thinking, gross, Shannon. You just cleaned the bathroom. Now you're cooking. I Trust me, I wash my hands. If anything, I used sanitizing cleaners. It'll be okay. Here's everything I need to make the cheesecake. This art and the kitchen.com tall and cheesy New York cheesecake. That's where I got the recipe. As I mentioned before, this will be my first time making cheesecake. Please don't mess it up. Okay, this recipe literally called for four packages of cheesecake or cheese, cream cheese. And I thought I had four, but I had three and a half. When I opened that fourth package, it was moldy. Thankfully, I had about half a container of whipped cream cheese for bagels. So I threw that in there with some butter and got it whipped together. I just realized I forgot to do the crust. The recipe I'm following does not call for a crust, but I'm gonna make one. Okay, for this crust, I use these shortbread cookies. Again, never tried it. We're just experimenting today for Steven's birthday. <laughs> We're gonna grease this. I wasn't following any kind of recipe, but I've done enough crust to know it's just cookie and a little bit of butter. So that's what we did in the blender. That looks so good. I'll press that down. Remind me to show you a trick to clean a blender that I learned. Cheesecake is Stephen's most favorite dessert ever. And I have tried to make it once before and didn't realize that you must have an electric mixer. Do not attempt a cheesecake without an electric mixer. It, it's not going to work out. So that was an epic fail. And today, since again, trying not to spend anything, wanting to be thoughtful, I thought, I'm going to give cheesecake another go at this. 
and he particularly likes New York cheesecake, which I have no idea what the difference is. I'm sure one of you can tell me what the difference is. This part of making cheesecake is the easy part. I learned that the tricky part is coming when you bake it. And at this point in the process, I am just, I'm just feeling really confident that, wow, I'm going to be an official cheesecake maker. And another thing about cheesecake, which is probably why people don't make it so often, is it's like a 24-hour process. This is going to bake for two hours at 300 degrees, and then you have to let it cool on the counter and then cool overnight in the fridge. Like, it's, it's an ordeal. But as I'm editing and thinking back to this moment and looking at how smooth this cheesecake is and remembering how unsmooth my previous attempt was, I thought I just had it made in the shade, that the hard part was over. Oh, how naive I was. All right, we gotta bake that for two hours. Long time. And so, <clears throat> but that gives us plenty of time to clean up here. And I wanted to show you how I clean my blender. And just look at me go. I was so excited to share this little blender cleaning tip with you guys that I just had to race through these dishes and I was cleaning at the speed of light. That's, that's how eager I am about this blender trick. When I got my Vitamix and was taking it out of the package and saw the setup guide, it showed me how to do this and I thought, why haven't I thought of this sooner? My mind was blown and I haven't cleaned it any other way since. So basically you just put some water and a few squirts of dish soap in there, blast it away. I will then take the soapy concoction and either pour it in pots and pans that need cleaning, or in this case, just in the sink, which I will use to scrub with later. Then you just give it a wipe and a rinse, and voila, done. The following night after this, we actually celebrated Stephen's birthday at his parents' house, and she makes a wonderful frittata. Oh, it was so delicious. But for tonight, I made Stephen's favorite that I make, which is chicken fried steak. Not the healthiest, but we let it slide for birthday. So I'm just cutting up the potatoes and getting that going. So the secret to my chicken fried steak is I don't follow a recipe. That's the secret. And it's probably different every time, but he doesn't know. And that is the buzzer for the cheesecake. So let's, let's see how it turns out. Buddy. I don't think it's ready yet, so we're gonna give it a few more minutes. How do you tell if a cheesecake is done? Okay, it says wiggly and jiggly is okay, but not too much. So I think we're almost there. I think it's still a little on the too wiggly side. It's better to overdo it than underdo it because you don't want some chicken fried steaks tasting differently. And that's probably way overdoing it there. Um, we're gonna take some of that out. And this is why I should not talk and cook at the same time. Onion powder, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna whisk that all around. If you've never made chicken fried steaks before, you're looking for the cube steak cut of meat. 
and basically it's just a really thin steak that has been run through a machine to tenderize it. We were planning on having his parents here tonight, but they are not feeling well, so I'm still gonna go ahead and make the whole package. And I think I'm gonna attempt to freeze the leftovers and maybe have that as an easy dinner one night. Nobody's gonna complain about chicken fried steak for dinner. This is usually a special occasion meal because of how messy and labor intensive it is. So if I have some in the freezer, that might be a nice treat for us and we can heat them up in the air fryer. Or have chicken fried steak sandwiches. Oh, again, on eggs, I almost overdo it, then underdo it. And I will save the eggs in a little Tupperware and scramble them up for the next day. Right now, I'm just going to open them up, make sure they're not too big. Because sometimes they fold in a little bit. And the ones that do, I'm, I'll cut up some. Like that one. We're gonna cut that one in half. I'm probably gonna cut this one and this can be a kid's because they don't eat very much. I think that we'll keep those the size they are. Okay, so all you do, I like to put a coating of flour on first and then a coating of egg. And then we come back to the bread, to the flour. And then into the fryer. Almost done. Delicious. No, this is not on my healthy eating plan, but we make an exception for birthdays. We don't eat like this every day, and so it's it's nice to be able to do it once in a while, but that's it. It's and as far as freezing the leftovers, we did, and I tried reheating them, and I want to say they turned out even better. So if you end up making a whole batch like this, I don't even know if you're going to go and try this at all. But if you do and you have leftovers and you want to freeze them, they do reheat nicely. And the way I recommend doing that is popping them in the oven at a low temp, like 200. Let them heat up internally. And then pop them in an air fryer or a to or like a toaster oven. Just make sure you have something to catch grease underneath it. And crisp them up. And they turned out quite nice. We even had extra potatoes and gravy. So it was just an easy freezer meal for us later on in this week. You will see here a little bit later when I serve the meal that I did make a side of frozen vegetables. But... That's just as easy as popping it in the microwave and adding a little salt, pepper, and butter. So, I was so busy filming this and the cheesecake that's about to come out of the oven that I didn't ever get any of that on film. But you will see it on the table. And it was about this time I realized that I forgot about the cheesecake in the oven. I still feel like it's pretty jiggly. And, but I, if I leave it in there any longer, it's going to burn. So, this is it. 
It's gonna sit out and cool and then go in the fridge overnight and we'll eat it tomorrow for his birthday. I'm gonna show you how I make my white gravy. First, I'm melting some butter. We're gonna make a little roux. You really want this butter to kind of develop a little bit of a caramel brown color, not too dark, but just a little bit of color. I've got my milk ready to go. So I do one tablespoon of butter for every cup of milk I'm using. And then I use a tablespoon of flour, usually all purpose flour, but this is what I have. So this is what we're using. And so once this gets going, We'll put a little bit of flour in there, whisk it together, make a roux, and then pour the milk, season it with salt and pepper. And then it'll thicken up and be beautiful. All right, just to give you a look, that's a little too dark probably, but we're gonna try and make it work. come to a boil add just a little bit of salt pepper and then you don't want to leave it because it will burn so this part I save to the very end when everything's done sometimes I source this out to a girl when we get this up to a boil. You just can't stop stirring. Just stir gently, we're bringing that to a boil. All right, so I was gonna do that. I've got the potatoes strained. No, you just all that butter. She's clearly having a blast, isn't she? Well, okay, well, so it's not the most fun job in the kitchen, but it must get done. There's nothing worse than having burnt gravy and having to start the process over. All right, on to the potatoes. The way I make my potatoes is I throw a big fat stick of butter in there, salt, lots of salt, because potatoes handle a lot of salt, heavy whipping cream, and a little bit of milk and just blend 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 i use my hand mixer this is i want to believe it's a bella hand mixer and it comes with an immersion blender attachment love it and we'll link it all right i'm going to try and do this left-handed but you can see it's starting to thicken up so we're probably only a few minutes away Ooh, facial Next day, it's Stephen's birthday. We've had a wonderful Sunday. We went to church. Hush, Einstein. We just put the dogs up because we're about to leave to go to Stephen's parents' house. But I wanted to show y'all the cheesecake because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget when I'm there. So it had completely collapsed. The cheesecake had like come up to here and Steven basically picked all around the edges. I'll take it out of the pan and stuff when we get to his parents' house. Not the prettiest, but hopefully it tastes good. Anyway, he has seen underneath his sink, but he hasn't seen the drawer yet. It's at his parents' house. His dad was working on it this week. So I'm gonna try and catch his reaction on camera because again, it's been like two years without a drawer. Let's hope I can remember. And yes, we have an uninvited guest that wanted a party today too.
Okay, so I really debated whether or not to leave this part in there, but the video would just feel incomplete without it. So enjoy this little peek into our little birthday celebration with Steven. Grace was my videographer, so the shots are kind of wobbly. It's noisy, which is normal. I don't know. I got I got a little giggle out of it. Hopefully you do too. I've never actually done it. I mean, it's, oh, it's not the prettiest. Are you going to clean it up? Did you have any help? No. Okay, good. Oh, that is beautiful. So I was going to say, if you do feel you need to clean it up, give me the cleaned up part. Um, what what is it? Huh? Cheesecake. Um, our favorite. Oh, did you hear what my mother-in-law asked at the end? Oh, that is beautiful. So I was going to say, if you do feel you need to clean it up, give me the cleaned up part. Um, what, what is it? Help? I mean, if that isn't a mom trying to support her child's art, I don't know what is. I'm ready. Close your eyes, Steven. <laughs> Keep them closed. Okay. Open. Open. Right. Look at it. Just what you always wanted. You gotta say just what I always wanted. Just what I always wanted. Who did it? <laughs> your dad. All right, moment of truth. Oh, <laughs> all right. Nicely done. And that's a wrap. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and getting all these birthday preparations and getting all these birthday preparations in order. If you haven't already, go say something kind to yourself and we will see you in the next one.